I love cats. Um, I kind of stopped. Um, thank you very much, all of you. I mean, it's really a tremendous honor. And um, but I think I, I, we all know what our job is, and um, we all know that it's a teamwork. And uh, I, I think, in fact, over the years. Uh, that's the most important thing for me. And uh, in many ways, I owe this to all the nice technicians I work with as well. So, because the collaboration with the director is, is what it is, but it's, um, um, how can I say? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, a director put his guts, you know, and the actors as well, on screen. I'm in a shadow, I'm safe, you know. If the movie is a failure, I'm still safe. And if it's a success, I got the honor. So, so it's, um, I do respect, you know, uh, the director just writing their script and trying to put their vision on, on screen, and the actors being on screen as well. So I have to respect this. And uh, I think my job is to respect every every job of uh, every technician. And um, you know, I remember when I was doing uh, what's the name? Uh, Darker Star. So Gary Oldman was going to make up at three in the morning, and he had three hours of makeup. So I have to respect this, but I do respect the makeup artists as well, the three of them who were waking up at 2 in the morning, just to be ready. And, uh, and when Gary was over at the end of the day, they had another hour to, just to, to um, clean the whole makeup um, trailer. So they basically probably worked for 20 hours a day. And, um, and so I have to respect this. I have to help them. I have to what they are doing on the actor's face, on Gary Oldman's face, you know, with the rig and all the prosthetic, um, was amazing. I mean, they deserve the Oscar they won. And, uh, but my job is to listen to them, to see what kind of trouble they 